the last thing I wanted was for me and Tammy to have to physically fight. Like, that's why yesterday I was so quiet, because the last thing I want to do is cause me and Tammy to fight, and you have to get in the middle of it. I'm like, yo, what's up? All right, let's talk about it. And when I want to talk about it, she wants to get up from the table and walk away. I definitely feel like Tammy is legit crazy. Like, I feel like you have to run around a hotel building to find somebody for expressing how they feel. It's Duffy sacrificed just to go on a growth trip, come for Jackie, come for my birthday, and just to relax. She came for me to, like, attack me. She is angry, and she feels like if you stay, it's going to be fight on sight every time. As much as it hurts me, Duff, because, like, in, you know, I don't want to have to be like, oh, Duff, could you not be here? But I almost, I'm at a crossroads. Guys need to separate. It's, regardless to the point is, is that. As long as Tammy knows that the body is warm and is in her 10-mile radius, she's going to come for it. I feel bad for Duffy because I feel like she's taking one for the team. And with one lady not wanting to be around her for whatever reason, it's just, I, I know that Duffy's kind of hurt inside. And I will go on tour like I'm supposed to be doing and make my money instead of getting fired. To some people, it might look like I'm running away. To me, I'm being smart. These ladies are crazy. Duffy trying to make things out with her friends. And while it seemed that she was indeed frustrated at Tammy for pushing her too far, the other ladies knew it had no lead whatsoever. They told Duffy she needed to leave the tour because Tammy would always be on the hunt for her, knowing she's present with a group in Portugal. So, Dre invites me to her party and I get all dressed. I wear this black jumpsuit with these gold metallic sparkles all on it. And I get in there and everything is all of a sudden one color. It's white. Why you didn't tell me it was all white? You didn't know it was all white? That's why you gave me the memo. It's really, everybody knows when it's an all white party, you wear all white. So I told the girls to wear all white. Don't go, Jackie! I know. <laughs> waiting for Drea to get here, knowing that Drea might flip out or be mad, but she's just kind of chilling instead of leaving. Everyone in all white. Out of the corner of my eye, and I'm like, Darth Vader? Jackie didn't get the memo, so it's okay. Don't be mad, Drea. I'm so sorry. You mean to tell me you didn't know this was a white party? So embarrassed, but I have a gift for you, and I hope you take it. It's because you're so pretty. Oh, don't be mad, Drea, seriously. I can't now. She gave or kick them out when they're giving you a present. So I'm like, fine, Jackie, you can stay. Rhea, of all people, could have told me when she invited me, wear white. That's something you don't forget. Jackie, you are ugly and You know, I feel like a damn fool. White, 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 black. Jackie was invited to a party, and after getting all dressed up to kill, she arrived to realize that she wore the wrong outfit. Other ladies were disappointed to see Jackie not in the costume colors and were more surprised when she refused to leave before the party owner showed up. And when Drea showed up, she was indeed disappointed at Jackie. Okay. Something. I'm going with you, Malaysia. Okay. I am so hurt right now. Wait, I just want to wait, grow up. Wait. Like, for real, I'm emotionally upset. Honestly, it does. So you, you're seriously saying you I'm didn't get the seriously memo. hurt. I'm going to say, why didn't you guys tell Jackie that she had to wear white. Did these chicks purposely not tell Jackie that it was a white party? If they did, I'm gonna be pissed. Drea claimed to have told Jackie that they were asked to wear all white, but Jackie claimed not to have received any memo. Hey, Jackie. I would ask you for a hug, but I know you're probably still uptight about Big Bear. I mean, I'm great. I want to hash out what we have going on. Just that night, it was just so much, and me arguing with three women, and they're attacking me and coming at me all at one time. I'm OK. I, I totally appreciate that, Angel, but I also kind of resented a little bit because I feel like I've known these girls a very long time. So and as long as ain't no blows thrown or nothing else, let's let her handle it, because you was kicking ass, period. Hey. And I felt, hey, hey, how are you? Seriously? Like, what in the f is going on at this moment? So I didn't tell Angel that I was inviting you to come, but I wanted to bring us three together. Because Surprise! I know I said I did not want to hang out with this girl anymore, but I decided to do it. I'm instantly starting to regret it. I just want to say, let's hash out our differences together. Like, three of y'all was jumping against one person. I don't feel like we were jumping you. This is the thing right here. The situation with Malaysia, Brandy, I just want you to speak on your behalf. So that was you putting something in my drink. And if you can't come here to apologize girl. to me. Yes, girl, please, nothing. Angel, 
I apologize for putting alcohol in your drink. Thank, thank you, you. Yes. Okay, yes, so now you. can we talk about the real thank issue? You. Because that's not thank the real you. issue. I'm letting you know how I, Duffy, feel about you. But I feel that you're very rude. How you... It does matter because I have to be around you too, and okay. that affects the way that I act. First thing I asked Malaysia when she came upstairs was, do you really feel like I was threatening Brandy? That's all I asked her. Right yeah, now yeah, you're being really rude. Okay, right oh. now you're being rude. So now you see what it feels like so when someone's right being now rude, you're being right? Really rude. Jackie heard that Angel Love called her a terrible friend who could not stand in for the click. Jackie did not like what she heard and sought out to clear the air with Angel Love. And like the terrible person she is, she invited Duffy, who had issues with Angel Love, so that they all settle their differences together. It don't matter how you feel about me. Okay, so it doesn't great. even matter. You can continue to do your music yeah. videos and go on with no, the rest of your life. No, I, yeah, I've done music videos. I've worked with major artists, Kanye West, Future, Rick Ross. Come on now, girl, you're just a hater. Why your baby daddy's not with you right now, okay? What? I'm with my man. No, you're not. But instead, you decided to go make 100 bucks to like grind on a man, hoping that that baller in the video would wife you, and they did it. And she needs to be worrying about her spreading herself thin across the court. Oh. She's talking about me sleeping with men in Dallas. That was not true. She's sitting here blatantly lying in my face, which is making me even more upset. The little disagreement flared into something more than Jackie could handle, so she only sat there and watched how the woman leaked each other's dirty little secrets. Hello. I'm gonna sit down here, you. By you. Fantastic. That situation's done. That's a pass. What was the beef? You were outside of, of, okay. of, Je <laughs> of Jennifer's thing, like, ah! You know, baby, you wanna come out here? Bring your ass out here. She's like upset about something. So it's like, come out Jackie. here. Let her, let her finish, let her finish. A cancer event, acting like a animal. As a grown ass adult, are you serious? Here Phoebe goes again, starting some <laughs> She thinks she could be slick at the mouth and just get away with it. But my grandfather passed away two days ago. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay, I'm strong. Do you have anything for healing from We actually a loss? even have a spirit guide candle. Can you get it up? I'd like to get it for her. Phoebe, you're a little drunk. Phoebe goes in the house and I'm like, wait, what's happening? You know, remember, we don't really know her that well. <laughs> oh, Lord, Jesus. Phoebe, she's something else. She could have packed anything else, some extra red bottoms, outfits, bathing suits, but instead she ended up packing the candles. Okay. Phoebe, you can sit up with all your little insults. Okay. Because she's childish. Childish. I'm embarrassed. And stupid. You, you look do. childish. You look dumb. You look you dumb. You look dumb. You look You're dumb. You're not on my level. You're done. You're retired, actually. I honestly have never seen Jackie this calm to someone snapping on her, ever. Jackie and Phoebe were invited to dinner where they could discuss and clear whatever air of confusion looming around them was there. It started off as a simple confrontation till Phoebe could not tolerate Jackie's disrespect anymore and popped off entirely on Jackie. What was outrageous was the fact that Jackie remained calm through the altercation.